This one's really good. This one's really, really, really good. Honestly, I'll be honest on this one. I would be very tempted to not do any testing on it. This is a really, really good one. All right, let's look at it. Hi everybody, my name is Cheryl Ells. I'm a graduate gemologist and a show host at Shop LC. So today we've got some packages from an online retailer that swears that this is Tanzanite. Now I will disclose that they're overseas. So even if they do have a return policy, it's gonna cost more money to return these packages than what the stones actually cost. So let's go over everything that I have here on the table that's gonna help us determine if this is real Tanzanite or something else. So first of all, I have my gemological microscope. This is gonna help me look inside the stone and see any inclusions that might give it away that it is not real tanzanite. I have my um, black light, and again, you might be saying, well, why a black light? Well, tanzanite does not fluoresce. If these stones fluoresce, we can tell right there, uh, they're not real. I also have my gemological tweezers to be able to hold them. My 10X loop, a lot of times you can just look at gemstones with the 10X loop and you don't even have to put them under the microscope. I just am really fond of my gemological microscope. And then last but not least, I do have my sevent cloth in case I need to remove any fingerprints or anything. Okay, are you ready to dive in? Let's do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently cut into these bags. And they have them in a, a pretty nice box, little rose on it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Okay, <laughs> first of all, it's a necklace. Uh, I can tell you right now, this is not real tans night. And you might be saying, well, how do you know? So being in the industry for close to 30 years, I've literally seen thousands and thousands and thousands of gemstones. And you, you get used to, um, if something doesn't look right, like you may look at it and you may not be able to say, say actually what it is, but it doesn't look right. Now, the first thing I'm gonna tell you that I see on these beads is adularescence. Tanzanite doesn't have adularescence. Adularescence is almost like a, a kind of a shimmery, um, not quite a star effect, but there's gonna be some shimmer. So, let's see, I think I'm gonna take it right to the microscope because I'm, I'm suspecting that we might have some glass here. So, I'm gonna, come to the front here and I'm gonna concentrate on one bead. Yeah, I can see the, oh man, this thing is full of gas bubbles. So gas bubbles are an indication of glass. Now there, there is some gems that do have natural gas bubbles in them, like a Moldavite. Moldavite will have gas bubbles. But if you see gas bubbles in something that's supposed to be tanzanite, right there, that tells me right off that this is not real tanzanite. So we already know that this one is not real tanzanite. This is actual glass that we purchased. Now we're gonna go back to the bag and we're gonna open this one up. So I found the gem right here. Um, I'm squishing on it. And let's see what we have. Okay, it's in an envelope. Yeah, so the first thing is I'm seeing rainbow flashes in it. <laughs> Tanzanite doesn't have rainbow flashes. Tanzanite, you can see pleochroism, which is gonna be two different body colors, depending on how you're viewing the gem from the crystal axis, or it could be trichroic. You could see three different colors, again, depending on if it's got green and yellow and the purple in it. But this one, straight off, it's got too much luster. And luster is that white reflected light that you see. And I don't know if I hold these both up, if we can um, see, but you can see here's the natural tanzanite. It has a little bit of luster, but not a glassy type luster. This one has a glassy type luster. So I'm, I'm already suspicious of it. So let's get it in uh, under the tweezers and see what we can see here. So there are a couple of things that I'm seeing right here. First of all, I am seeing the gas bubbles that are in there that's telling me that this is glass, but also it's abraded along the facet junctions. And that can happen to any gemstone, but there's different ways that, that glass abrades than a natural gemstone does. So again, I'm looking at that one and I can say right now with 100% certainty that this is not tanzanite, that this is glass as well. So this one right here, glass so whatever somebody spent on this thinking that they bought themselves a genuine piece of tanzanite 
they just bought themselves glass. Okay, let's see what else we have. So, uh, so far we are zero for zero. <laughs> those are not, either one of those are not real tans tonight. And the sad thing is, you know, people buy these stones thinking, um, that they're getting a really great deal because maybe you got this tanzanite for like 15 bucks. So that's another clue. Tanzanite's a valuable gemstone. It's one of the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. No one, no one is going to sell you a quad A, uh, a triple A, a double A, or even a single A for $13, $14. So again, you know the saying, um, if it's too good to be true, well, that applies definitely for tanzanite. All right, let's open this one. So I like that they, they kind of put it in a fun bag, right? Um, okay, so first of all, let me tell you what really could fool somebody. So the first two stones down here, they're, they're very purple. They look tanzanite-ish, and I can see red flashes. That would get somebody excited, thinking that they've got a real tanzanite. Then up here, this one just looks odd. It's um, too dark of a blue. So again, when I look at the gemstones, these two, I would say, okay, maybe. This one right up here, I'd rule out right away because it doesn't have the right color of tanzanite. So I'm gonna set that one off to the side here for just a second. And I wanna really look at these two. Hmm, this is interesting. So I'm just gonna do a quick visual here. Okay. So right off the bat, I am seeing some rainbow flashes. So uh, Tanzanite being a pleochroic gemstone, you can see um, flashes of red and you can see flashes of purple, but you should never see rainbow flashes. And what I'm doing is I'm just getting it in the light and I'm looking at the, the facet junctions where it reflects light and that's where I'm seeing the rainbows. So right now, oh, just by that visual. I don't have to do an RI on this. I don't have to do a specific gravity on this. Just by looking at it, I know that this is not real. So let's get this one under the microscope. And you know, oh, so here's another thing that I'm looking at. Looking down on the stone, there is an unnatural luster, again, that is coming off of the tanzanite. So remember that luster is that white reflected light. Think of it like paparazzi lights when they're going off. And tanzanite, it, you're gonna see a little bit of luster, but it's not gonna look really bright and really vibrant. So if, if you see something like that, that again, and is a clue that you're not, you don't have genuine tanzanite. And not only that, but, uh, oh yeah, the back of it right here. So I can tell you right now what this is, it's cubic zirconia. So again, looking at the back of it, and cubic zirconia is a man-made gemstone. Looking on the back of it, the pavilion, so the bottom part of the gemstone is called the pavilion. I'm seeing all of these rainbow flashes, pow, 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 pow. That's what you see in cubic zirconia. Um, and so right away, we know. Now I'm not guessing that I'm gonna see gas bubbles on this one because it is CZ, but let's see what is in there. All right, let me turn some different lights on here. Yeah, again, on this one, I am not seeing gas bubbles, so this one is not glass. But again, when I flip it over, and let me look at the back of it. Oh yeah, hello. All of those little rainbow flashes that we're seeing is telling me that that's cubic zirconia. So again, whatever somebody paid on this, thinking that they were getting a quad A tanzanite. And I will tell you, as a CZ, I like the stone. I think it's really pretty. If this were a natural tanzanite, you know, you're looking at maybe $8,000. So if you pick it up for 20 bucks and it's a CZ, it gives you that look of tanzanite. And the issue is it has to be disclosed, right? You have to know that that's what you're buying. And then it's up to you if you want this alternative to a tanzanite or not. So this one we know is CZ. Now this other one, I'm gonna, well, I will look cause I wouldn't be doing my due diligence if I didn't. So since I know that one is a CZ, I'm gonna flip this one over and just look at the back real quickly. Yep, getting all of those rainbow flashes again. So that's telling me that, yep, and that rainbow flashes from the front as well. So we just have two CZs. These are two CZs that were purchased. Okay, let's put this one over to the side. So right now we are at one, two, three, four, 
zero for four. <laughs> None of these that we have purchased are real tanzanite. So this one I find really curious because it's a little bit darker of a tone. But remember what I said when I pulled them out of the um, envelope, I said this one has an unnatural darkness to it. Again, when you've seen thousands of gemstones, when you look at something like this, your suspicions start to rise because you're like, yeah, it just doesn't look right. There's something about it that just doesn't look right. So let's take, okay, so the first thing, taking it out of the plastic top, I'm seeing those rainbow flashes everywhere. So again, that's telling me that this is going to be cubic zirconia, but I want to put it under the microscope here and see if there's any gap. Oh, wow. So this one is... <laughs> This one's really scratched up. Um, and that's not something that you would see with your bare eye. Yeah, and then again, those rainbow flashes everywhere. So, cubic zirconia. And I will say this, I love cubic zirconia, right? The cubic zirconia gives you, again, a really nice alternative to the real thing. But you wanna know that that's what you're purchasing. You don't wanna purchase what you think is a quad A tanzanite that you can't return, that you can't get your money back on, and you just bought a CZ. All right, and I will say all of these were CZ prices. Because like I said, if these were genuine tanzanite, that's an eight, $9,000 gemstone at least. So buyer beware if somebody is offering you 5A tanzanite, and I see a lot of this 5A plus, 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 plus. There's no such thing. There is no 5A tanzanite. Um, so that's your first clue if it's 5A tanzanite. Number two is if it's somebody that's overseas. Now, not all overseas vendors don't sell the real thing. But a lot of stuff coming out of China, that's a clue right there that it's not real tanzanite. Uh, China is not a big market for tanzanite. India is a big market for tanzanite. You can get genuine tanzanite from India, but if it's coming from China, this is not a gem that they specialize in. This is not a gem that they sell. They do buy tanzanite for themselves, but they don't really sell it. Um, and again, if the price is too low, those are all clues that it's not genuine tanzanite. All right, I think we have, oh, we've got a couple more. All right, so this is going to be a big one. Again, I'm going to cut it where we're not going to cut off the information. This is kind of fun, isn't it? Okay, so another, this one looks exactly the same. So, you know, once again, I think I like the color. I like the size, but I immediately, because I've already looked at this one, I'm thinking, yeah, this is not gonna be real tans tonight. But we're gonna look again. We're gonna look for those telltale signs. So let me open it up. And I don't think I put my black light on any of these. Let me try that. It has a very weird color that it changes to. Whereas if you put it on the natural tans night, the natural tans night does nothing. So there are other tests that you can do. We could do a refractive index test. We could do a spectrum spectrum test. We could do a specific gravity. But those are other things that take a little bit more specialized gemological equipment. And we don't have that here with us today, but we are determining that so far, none of these are genuine tanzanite. So again, I'm gonna look at it up close. I see those rainbow flashes right there. Yep. But let's put it under the microscope and see. Wow, this one has some really, really pretty color under the microscope, I like it. It's almost like a magenta purple, which again is telling us that that's not tanzanite because we don't see those. We, could, we can see flashes of red on tanzanite, but not like this one. And then again, all those rainbow flashes. So again, I would say that that one's a cubic zirconia. So now what are we at? What's the count? One, two, three, four, five, six zero for six we have glass um and then we have we had another one of these that was glass oh i think this one was the one that was glass and then the rest of those are cubic zirconia okay we have a couple more let's find it in here oh it's a dinky one okay and i will say this if you if you like the color and if somebody does sell this to you as 5A tanzanite, which you already know it doesn't exist, and if the price is low and you like the stone, 
go ahead and buy it, but know that you're not buying genuine tanzanite. Know that you're either gonna be buying a piece of glass, which I'm suspecting that that's what this one is, because this looks very similar to the first one that we had, that it's gonna either be a piece of glass or it's gonna be cubic zirconia, um, but it's not gonna be tanzanite. So this one, Again, it looks like it would be, if I were to, if this were tanzanite, I'd say it's a double A tanzanite. So it's a little bit lighter. I'm just doing a flash right here. I'm uh, rotating my tweezers and I'm seeing again, rainbow flashes. Oh yeah. And then the front again has that really bright luster. So remember luster is white reflected light and tanzanite has very light luster. It's not going to look like the paparazzi lights. It's not going to look like a diamond, right? A diamond has a very high refractive index and it has a lot of luster to it. So if you see that kind of luster on a tanzanite, it doesn't exist. So we already can say this is not real tanzanite. And I think we have one left. Oh, this one might be a little bit bigger. One left. Oh, this one they've put they, they wrapped it up. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna feel where the gem is because I don't want to cut into it. Okay, so it's right in the middle and I'm just gonna take off the very end. And we're gonna pull it out. All right, so this one they put in a little gemological bag. It's a little trillion cut. This one's really good. This one's really, really, really good. So initially, when I look at it, I mean, if, if somebody were to put this in a gem jar like we have here at Shop LC, honestly, I'll be honest on this one, I would be very tempted to not do any testing on it. This is a really, really good one. All right, let's look at it and see if we can determine. So out of all of them, this is a really, 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 really good uh, simulant. So let's take a peek again, see what we can see. Yeah, the front isn't really telling us anything. I do some, see uh, some abrasion on the junctions, but that, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Oh, there it is right there. So we are seeing those rainbow flashes and I actually am seeing some gas bubbles in there. So this one is glass, but you know what? Th whoever made this one, that's a really good, fabulous fake. I mean, it is a simulant. So again, a simulant is a, a synthetic. It has the same chemical composition, right? Same physical chemical composition. A simulant could be anything. You know, you could take a piece of aluminum foil and say it's a simulant diamond. I mean, I think most people would know that, right? But you can take glass and this is now a simulant of tanzanite, but this is actually a really good one. So this is the advice that I would give you. If you are going to buy tanzanite, First, first of all, expect that it's gonna cost you some money, right? You know, Tanzanite, kind of price per carat is all over the board right now, but it is not going to be inexpensive. If you see a stone that is selling for $13, $14, that is your clue that it's not real. If you like the color, if you like the shape of the stone and you're comfortable spending that $13, go ahead, knowing that it's not real Tanzanite. But it, again, like I said, if, it, if it's a lower price, it's not real. Number two, if it is advertised as 5A, 5A+, 5A++++, there is no such thing as 5A. The way that Tanzanite is graded out in the industry, single A, double A, triple A, or quad A. Now you can have quad A+, plus, you can have single A+, plus, you could have quad A-, minus, but it's not gonna go beyond quad A into 5A. Uh, and another thing I would say, if you don't have the ability to return the item, if it's an overseas vendor, and I would say China, because again, China buys Tanzanite for their personal um, use, but they don't sell. They don't specialize in Tanzanite. They don't sell. India does. So if you did buy a Tanzanite from India, I would be a little bit more comfortable with that. Or if you buy it here in the U.S. from somebody that's going to make sure that if you're not happy with your purchase, you can return it. So keep all of those things in mind. Again, my name is Cheryl Ells, graduate gemologist and show host at Shop LC. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And in the comments below, put other gemstones that you'd be interested in seeing and learning about. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.